Yeah, when you go cut all that up, I don't have to. Put it over there. Come on. What? That's okay then. All right. It's uh, Saturday, December 20, 23rd. Finished up. What did we do today? Anything. I did the power seat on my car. Ran some wires. Ran some wires. I put the, the ornaments on the on the tail lights early in the morning. And put the trunk on Bobby's car. And that was about it. Hopefully the rain ain't too loud. Uh, but we was thinking the topic today is built not bought. Or built versus bought. Yes. And neither one is a negative or positive. Some people have more skills than others or and some have more money than others. So it's, it's a give and take. What do you prefer? Man, there's some there's a lot of things that yeah, frustrate me. There's a lot of a lot of things that frustrate me that I wish I didn't have to deal with and just pay somebody here, you know? And there's of course some things that I that I I think I can tackle myself and, and kind of help myself not having to pay somebody, you know? So do you think that, do you think that uh, buying a car and taking it somewhere and paying them to do it to your liking, is that the same as buying a car done? Is that, is that, is that bought or is that built? because sometimes when you buy a car that's already done you're buying somebody else's idea somebody else's vision for that car and now you're just you just wrote out a check or whatever or now what if the car is exactly what you wanted what if you found a, 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 a butternut yellow 68 with a 44 and black interior and true spokes which that's not gonna that's hard to find but let's say you did find one and they wanted forty thousand dollars first First thing I would I would ask is, are you crazy? Because <laughs> I wouldn't have done it. Uh, no, but I mean, no. If, if if I found something that that was to my liking, to 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 almost the exact liking, then yeah, I, I wouldn't have a problem paying. Well, you don't have to be here every Saturday. I mean, that's a factor that needs to be considered also. Time. You know, I, I think I'd rather be doing other things than. Wrenching away, grinding away, whatever, you know. But, but then again, we're not rich, so. Well. So we can't, we can't, except this guy. So we can't pay somebody 15000 to do, or whatever it is, 20000 to do a whole frame, all paint job, paint under the bed, leaving stuff like that. Yep. So, okay, so. This is, this is pretty much Bobby's first, you know, frame off deal. Do you do you wish you would have bought one, or are you still cool with building? Yeah, right now I'm still cool with building because I mean I'm still gonna be here every Saturday, so even okay. even if my car wasn't ready for paint or anything like that, I'm still gonna be here. So it's still something to, it's something to do. Yeah, it's still something to do. But I mean, do I? I mean, it would be better if I didn't have to do all the metal work that I'm doing now. So maybe buy something a little in a little better condition. Yeah, just buy some, something in a little better condition. I would still buy something like. I don't know how you bought this 60. Uh huh. So, uh, like a little bit of work, but not a full metal. We gotta change the whole quarter panels. Okay. So, maybe like a little rust hole or something here and there, but no, not, man. now we gotta change the whole piece of all. Kenny 60 was a kind of rough, man. Some pieces, some, some areas was kind of rough. Well, the thing with mine is, uh, I'm hold that. Uh, I, I had a very specific vision for my car. Like, yeah, you can go out and buy a 60 convertible. I mean, there's one on eBay right now, a red one. Mm -hmm. The one $125,000 has been on eBay for over a year. Yeah, it's been on it for Two long. years, probably. And, uh, I mean, you can go get a red one, okay? And there's nothing wrong with a red one, but I didn't want a red one. You can go, you can probably maybe find a black one with black interior. Maybe yeah. red interior. Mm -hmm. I didn't want that. I wanted green. I wanted Cascade green. Well... Try and go find a 60 convertible Cascade Green mm -hmm. that is to your liking. You're, they don't exist. You're not gonna find one, yeah. So you, you kind of have to build it. So luckily, you know, we're capable. 
Uh, but to go back to what I asked you, I don't think that if you were to buy a car and take it to a shop, take it to an upholstery shop, take it to a paint and body shop, you know, take it to a hydraulic shop if you wanted to, you know, airbag, or what, you know, suspension shop, and pay them for what you wanted done. You're like a project manager. That that's built. That's like being that's a project built. manager. You're a project manager. Yeah. That's built. That that's not bought. Simply because you don't, you know, have the skill to paint the car or the skill to do the interior how to your liking or whatever, you know, that don't mean that you're less of a a rider, you know, or an enthusiast. That just means that you know you know where you fit in and you know your boundaries and you're okay with paying that person to produce the result you want that's built yeah that's not bought you know in my opinion bought is hey man we're gonna go we're gonna go buy this car from from so and so who's in a club with a plaque and we're, we're gonna buy that car and we're not gonna do anything to it but we're gonna take the plaque out we're gonna put our plaque in you know, I've seen that's that. bought i've seen that i see it happens all the time that's yeah. bought yeah now hey man you know some for some people that's fine you know i i will never ever do that yeah that's not how we do things so but then you know there's also uh a uh a macho factor yeah a macho factor built not bought i mean i post it all the time right i mean well, yeah but that doesn't mean that because you took your car to abc paint and body shop to get your car painted and I did mine myself, that doesn't mean that I'm better. It just means that, hey, I'm proud because I did it myself. And you can say, hey, I'm proud because I went and got an education to make a bunch of money and I could pay them to do it. Yeah, so it comes to time versus money. That's essentially what it is. It's time versus money. And uh, and you, you almost never have both at the same time. You have one or the other. Yeah. You never You never have a bunch of money and a whole lot of time. You either have a bunch of money and no time, or you got a bunch of time and no money. You never have time and money at the same time. Bobby has a bunch of money. <laughs> and a bunch of time. Yeah, right. Bobby's <laughs> the exception. But, I mean, what do you think when people when people post on the internet, built not bought? What What's your first, what do you think, What you know, what's your first uh, impression on that? That they're not there to put it into work? That make that they didn't actually do the entire process. The, the hard work, yeah. Somebody else painted it, not you. But I mean, man, I mean, it's all right. I mean, it's I mean fine. If, if you you know, pay for it. Hey, man, if you pay for it, it's your car. So, like I said, I mean, sometimes I wish I could be in bed or go do something else. Sure. Then come over here every Saturday. Now you know, there's there's sometimes where you know, I mean, say somebody you know has a job that pays them, you know, I mean, 80 to $100 an hour a Monday through Friday that pays them like that, you know, you know, you're making a, you can make $100 an hour at work, which, I mean, you know, somebody out there watching might make that, you know, it, it's, it's, it's ineffective for you to mow your grass. Why? Because go to work and make $100 in an hour and pay the dude to cut your grass $25. I pay 40 40 Okay, even at that rate, yeah. that's ineffective for you to mow your grass. You're, you're better off going to work making a hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah. And pay him, and you, and, 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 that, and, and you got your grass cut, and you still got yeah, money. It still what came it, up. Yeah, that's, that's what it up. was because because I didn't have the time. Um, you say so you got to get gas, you got to have your mower, you got to have all you know weed eater, all that's got to be working. The maintenance, to me, it wasn't it wasn't it just wasn't worth my time really to mow to mow or to keep my equipment maintenance you know maintained or even just to keep it in the shed or you know just yeah 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 so yeah, i pay my guy 40 bucks he comes out cuts the grass does a great job does it yeah that's another thing you gotta have all the equipment <laughs> to do it i mean that's a, that's a good example too like you, you recently tools. you recently bought a mower well yeah, it was what three thousand dollars yeah like four thousand four four grand so he does have money <laughs> okay so no, you know, but back so, to back to the topic. So you're gonna have all the tools and equipment to be able to do what you gotta do to your car. I mean, who's gonna have a thousand dollars laying around to buy a thousand dollar paint gun? Which you don't need a thousand dollar paint gun. Not yet, especially not for one job, you know. 
for a person like you that, that does multiple, that's going to have multiple projects going on within a year, two years, yeah, you're going to need an expensive gun, a quality gun to do these works. Uh, you need the equipment, you know, sure. and two in bender, uh, flare. Uh, so I, I would say, I would say that for somebody who's watching the video or, or follows the channel, once that 64 Impala or 63 or whatever, and 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 wants to jump in you know jump in the game and put some Dayton's on it or some whatever you know 13s that you're you're probably better off and but you don't you really don't have well if you if you're, you really don't know what kind of what to look for when you buy one mm -hmm. in the condition or maybe you don't have somebody reliable around you to, to help you or to you're probably better off buying one yeah and yeah and and maybe uh Maybe do little things here and there. Do little you know. things here and there, man. You know, upgrade or new carpet. You know, stuff like that. Uh, I wouldn't say somebody who watches the channel who who wants that frame off sixty four lowrider to. I wouldn't encourage them. Well, I do encourage them. Just be ready, because yeah. it can get overwhelming. Yeah, you got, you got to invest in tools. You got to invest in tools. You got to invest in yourself. All your tools. You how long you buying tools? Was, Working all your life. Yeah, all my life. Yeah. It's 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 you got to invest in tools. You got to invest in space, and it's 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 a lot more than just putting the car together. Yeah. Time, Saturdays after work, Sundays, and you're constantly looking for that part, searching for that next part. I mean, yeah, you we'll, say you check eBay every day for a tail much, panel. Yeah. Pretty much every day. I mean, you spend time doing that. You know, you got to factor in that too. So sometimes it is better to to buy one built. Um, yeah, for a person who doesn't have much much time. But I mean, I've bought I've bought cars. I've bought cars. I might joke around about the built and I bought stuff, but I've I've bought cars. I bought the I bought Travis Lincoln. He's probably watching. I bought his Lincoln. I bought Matt sixty four. Oh yeah, Re, and that was the whole thing on lay it low back then. These dudes were saying, oh, you bought that car. No, I mean, you, if you if you buy a car and you repaint it and you change the wheels and you change the interior and yeah, you change yeah. the top, yeah, and you change the stereo. Did you buy that car or did you build that car? Good. It's like half and half, man. Because, I mean, the interior change really changed the entire outlook of that car. Right? Because before it was, a, it was a, like a light blue, white interior. Well, it had the graphics and I, I right. deleted the graphics. And, yeah. uh, and then you put like a matching interior. Uh huh? Blue. Right? A blue, blue top. Blue top. Blue top. Um, and it just changed the entire outlook of that car. And, it, you know. So was that car built or was it bought? It was, it was half and half right there. I mean, well, so 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 now we're gauging built not bought because you don't want to buy a complete shit box and build it and bring it back that, from the grave. That's important too, man, man. Because there's not a lot of people that are capable of doing that, man. Well, yeah. I would say, I would say, just because you buy a a, a shit box, <laughs> don't don't mean that. Oh, I built that. You know what I mean? Like, I mean. What if you say, you know what, I want to buy one a little bit more solid for maybe instead of instead of five thousand, maybe spend twelve thousand. They don't need no metal work and go from there. Yeah, I, I, that would be me. That would that would be me too. Because I I would hate to. And that would be Bobby now. Bobby, I looked look at Bobby right and away. And that would that would be Bobby now. <laughs> I looked at Bobby right away because I mean, you know, all the work that's being done to his car, you know, I don't think I I would I would have the. Uh, yeah, I probably won't do it again. The money for that, man. Yeah, it's tough. I probably won't do it again. It's too much time. It is time. You could have already had the car painted. If it was a little if bit more one solid, didn't need yeah. It, yeah. If it was a little bit more solid, yeah. So, man, I mean, you know, I guess to sum it up, man, is you know, there's there's a there's an ass for every seat, or there's a seat for every ass. Um, you just it, people don't understand that these cars, or, or building one, or buying one, is is more than just that, man. It's a commitment. Yeah. It's a financial commitment. It's a time commitment. It's a it's a space commitment. Everything about it, yeah. It's, it becomes part of your 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 damn family, man. It beca <laughs> it's like having a kid. Yeah, yeah. Got to spend time with it. If you want it done, that's true. You got to spend money on it. If you want it done, you got to take care of it. You can't leave it out in the in the cold. If you you got you got to give it a place to stay. It's like a damn kid. Uh, yeah, you know what? And actually, but sometimes you get unmotivated, man, because it's a it's at a standstill. You're not sure on what direction to take or what steps to take, to, you know, to get to the next level or whatever. Yeah. And, and you, you become unmotivated, man. And that 
and at least that's with me. Um, so we just got recently got the, the 68 running, right. finished wire started, yeah. and it started and running, and, and it's and man, that was like a big. So you got like refreshed. Yeah, big big uh, fire under me. I mean, kicking the butt. Now you're ready, you know. Oh, come on, okay. So I'm now I'm buying parts again on eBay. Here I go, and, and just buying stuff and trying to get to that next next step because now I'm excited, man. You know, but for a while there, I was kind of like, eh. Yeah. I've got a lot of money in this thing, and I keep throwing money at it, and it looks the same. And it's, yeah, nothing's happening. But and, and it's but like you're right, you're right on on one thing. It's it's about the attention, the detail to the to that per that you yourself have to give that that project. If you want us, if you want it a specific certain way, you either have to do it yourself, or you have to have the money to take it somewhere that can do it exactly how you want. Um, when you when you start getting into a specific paint job color graphics i mean you could say hey i want to i don't want to go i don't want to go i don't want my graphics from this guy i want my graphics from this guy so you can't just go buy that you know you gotta you gotta you gotta take it to them it's a process so when you want something very specific you either have to do it yourself or spend money to pay somebody to do it for you and i mean that just depends on how much and how much they say <laughs> yeah yeah and then you go from there but i i don't the whole built not bought thing uh i mean people joke about it all the time i don't i'm i'm a built guy but i also i don't frown and laugh at the guys who buy now like we're, we're talking now, like I said earlier, man, like t buying a car and, and not doing anything and putting your plaque in it. it, it okay, we're not doing that. No, no okay. definitely not. We're not doing that. And, and people who do that, like, you don't have to watch the channel. I'm not upset. That's, to me, that's not, I just, we don't do that. But buying a car and redoing it could come out cheaper than buying something from the graveyard and trying to bring it back to life. Yeah, because you don't have to redo everything. I mean, essentially, it. you know, you bought the 68 from Danny. I mean, that used to be, he used to put it in a show. He used to drive it. Yeah. So, I mean, was that car built? Or did you build it or did you buy it? It comes back to attention to detail. Because all you had to do was just paint yellow. Well, that's he, didn't to, he didn't have to take it off the frame. and uh, That's what right. I wanted, man. <laughs> Somebody else. So he comes back to attention to detail again. To frame off, which, you know, I, I think that's what it is from, from here. If you bring your car here, it's going to be a frame off. It looks like <laughs> there's no way around it. There's no way around it. You know, so, but anyways, yeah, I mean. It, it uh, comes back to attention to detail. Sure. Or so what level do you want, do you your, want car? your car? So he could easily just paint the car yellow and, and keep the same guts and put a set on oh, no, it. Or don't do anything to it and just get it running. I mean, you know, it depends on what you want. Yeah. That's what it boils down to, man. So, Actually, so mean, the whole built not bought thing is like, man, hey, man, it, it ain't. If if somebody buys a if somebody buys a car, hey man, uh, they didn't use my money, so, so why I care? So what if you bought the sixty eight and then just put an LS in it? <laughs> it uh, uh, the sixty eight was a damn good car, man. I kind of regret is, not buying it. Is that built or bought? If you just put the LS, nothing changed. <laughs> I, I think it's built, man. You know how much work goes into these uh, LS conversions, man. I, I think I regret it, man. I think I missed, you know, a little small block. I think if you were to buy an LS and drop, uh, buy a '68 and drop an LS in it like that, that's uh, that's not bought. I mean, that's not built. But if you saved a firewall, that's built. That's a that's a major upgrade, man. That's a major change to to put in a, a, a like. You know, so, do all so the thing. So if somebody buys your car and changes the engine, what is that? That's a downgrade, man. Right? Okay, so I think <laughs> oh, you gonna go from LT. <laughs> no, I mean, no, you go, you go to LT four, you go LT four supercharged twin turbo if you want to. Okay, yeah, yeah. but most people ain't but that, yeah, no, most people won't. Uh, but that okay, 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 okay. So to sum this up, we've been on a uh, twenty minutes. I think the whole built not bought thing can be uh can be uh decided on. If you're, <clears throat> if Bobby's driving down the street, and you recognize the car, and they say, that's "Damn, that's Michael's! Oh, that's Michael's oh. old car." Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> Bobby bought that car, but if they say, "Damn, that's Bobby '62," that's your you built that. Well, if you're driving yeah. down the street and say, yeah, "Oh, that's man, that's yeah. Miguel's old car," 
Nobody wants you don't if you if that's your car, you don't want to hear that. You want to hear him say, "Damn, man, Fredo did that car justice." Yeah, yeah. I, I don't think I'd be having big pimp. You watching, man? <laughs> ain't nothing, no, none personal. Respect, none personal. But yeah, if I already kept the car the same way and then say, "Oh, that's big pimp's car," that's Danny's old that's car. Danny's car. Or that's or not Danny's old car, but that's Danny's car. Yeah, then you're yeah, like, no, I, that's I Fredo's car. He owns it now. I don't, I don't now. think I would have felt good about that. Right. You know. So that sums it up. Yeah. You think? Yeah, definitely. Or nobody's gonna nobody's gonna see me in my car and say, "Oh, that's that old man from uh, where did I get the car? Uh, car of uh, Missouri. That's an old man from Missouri '60." Like nobody's gonna they're gonna say, "Oh, that's you know that's Kenny's car. That's Lone Star's car or whatever." Yeah. Now there's no doubt about it. Even if you were to sell the car. There's no doubt about it. Somebody will say, "Yeah, I know that car. Mm -hmm. I seen, I seen it on YouTube." Sure. It ain't, that ain't your car. Oh, so, you bought that car. Okay. So I can, you can sum it up that you know, close it out that you know, we we build. Hey, man, but there's nothing wrong with buying. That's that. Because without the buyers, there wouldn't be the builders. So, to a certain extent, you know, I mean, there's there's rules and guidelines. I think unwritten rules. <laughs> you don't want to, you know, like I said, you don't want to go out and buy. You don't want to buy this car and then claim it as yours. Yeah, I did that. Yeah. No, that's fraud. But then you know. it depends on the car too, because I mean, probably, I mean, you ain't gonna buy a Fleetwood and do all that too. Why not? Maybe. People do that all the time. Huh? That might be next. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, man, I hope you guys enjoyed this little episode. We're at uh, nah. where are we at? Twenty. Hold on, we're still Oh, you got some stuff. No, you can't. <laughs>